In the last 10 years, out of the six jobs and internships I've had, I've only directly applied to one of them. The rest I've gotten through networking. Today I'll share with you my most effective networking tips. So after learning these, you'll never struggle to find a job. I'm Saman a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. My first networking tip is the most important one, which is don't network. Now that might sound a little bit weird given that you've just clicked on a networking video and the first thing I'm telling you is not to network. But hear me out. So most people's notion of networking is developed at university where you're forced to go to these industry events and also job career fairs to interact with employers. And most people take the approach of just asking for jobs and internships directly. So it ends up feeling very awkward, pushy and false. But real networking is far from getting dressed up and going for drinks to these fancy events and asking for internships. Real networking is more like making a friend. You have to be genuinely interested in getting to know the other person and developing a relationship because networking is at the end of the day just forming human connections. So really try to talk to people that you're genuinely interested in getting to know. Ask them about their job, their experience, their life so far and try to learn a couple of things out of that experience. Don't even go there with the intent of trying to secure an internship because those things are bound to come as side effects of forming a genuine human connection. This approach is usually low effort because you're not forcing yourself to make conversation. You're just forcing yourself to be curious about the other person. This way it is a two-way exchange rather than a transactional conversation. And just a pro tip when it comes to doing this type of networking, it's always best to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. So the usual setting in career fairs is usually five or six students that are surrounding a single person or a single employer. Those types of discussions don't really go very far in establishing a connection with the employer or the professional. So try to always keep conversations one-on-one -on -one with an effort to establish a genuine connection. If you're enjoying the video so far, then consider subscribing. I make weekly videos about demystifying data. My next tip is to be part of communities. Meeting people is a lot more organic when you're part of a community because everyone has a shared interest in that common group of people. Communities can look anything like rock climbing clubs or archery club or even startup and tech communities. I for one, I'm genuinely interested in the startup scene and the technology industry, having worked in it and also having lots of friends in it. So I gravitate towards communities like Early Work or Startme, which are also excellent places to find grad jobs or technology for jobs and meeting cool, interesting people that are just like you. Being part of these communities pushes you out of your comfort zone and gets you to meet new people, which also increases your surface area for serendipity to happen. So I can't understate the benefits of putting yourself out there. My next tip is something I've gotten a lot out of. It's to create in public. This is the process of documenting your journey and making content that is valuable to others. So you'll be surprised by how much you're going to learn by creating something in public because others can connect with it and reach out to you if they find things valuable. And obviously this is something I'm doing right now with this YouTube channel and I can't count the number of people I've met through it and the number of people that reach out to me for advice or have given me positive feedback about these videos. And it also sets you apart because you're doing something different, which is something that people naturally gravitate towards. But creating can look anything like writing a blog post or writing LinkedIn articles or posting tweets. There's countless ways of creating content and publishing it on the internet. It's basically a free for all these days. And content creating often attracts lots of opportunities that we wouldn't have had access to otherwise. This could be job opportunities, consulting gigs, sponsorships, or just meeting genuine people that want to help you out. I think content creating has got to be one of the best things I've done in the last decade. My final tip is a bit broad. It is to help others and ask for help and advice from others. This is a general rule of thumb. So find as many ways to help others as possible. This could be through your professional ability or otherwise. Helping others is one of the most fulfilling ways to connect 
connecting with people. It's definitely a gift that keeps on giving. Secondly, ask for help when you need it. It shows that you're coachable and that you're not afraid to be vulnerable in order to better yourself or learn something new. You'll be surprised how many people are out there that are ready to help you out. You just need to let go of your ego and extend an arm forward. And this is one of the most fantastic ways of meeting new people. An example of asking for help could be reaching out to people on LinkedIn and asking for their specific career advice because you're interested in the trajectory they've taken. And you'll be surprised how many people are more than happy with offering advice to people. So that's all the tips I have for you when it comes to networking. If you enjoyed the video, then smash that like button and I'll see you next time.